Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to another video and if you are new here my name is Hannah, I am an astrologer and I make videos all about astrology. Okay so in today's video we're going to be discussing the asteroid Vesta. So we're going to start off by looking at the mythology of Vesta followed by its function within your natal chart and then we're going to finish off by looking at Vesta through the signs so stay tuned. Now, before we do dive into today's video, I just want to mention this book right here. It's called Asteroid Goddesses. It is by Demetra George and Douglas Blog. If I'm not pronouncing those names correctly, I do sincerely apologize. But this book is great for learning all about the asteroids. So I definitely recommend it. But before we do dive into today's video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and click the bell. And if you are interested in a personal reading, then you can visit my website, hannaselsewhere.com. There you can also find my practical astrology ebooks and merch. All the links will be in the description box below. I do hope that you find this video to be helpful today. Let's do this. Now, in Greek mythology, Vesta was Cronus's, aka Saturn's and Rhea's daughter. She was their firstborn and was also the last Titan to be reborn. Reborn, you ask? Yeah, Zeus, aka Jupiter, was also one of Saturn's and Rhea's children. Zeus freed the rest of his siblings from Saturn's stomach. The children uh, Saturn and Rhea co-created together, they were Zeus aka Jupiter, Hades aka Pluto, Poseidon aka Neptune, Hestia aka Vesta, Demeter aka Ceres and then Hera aka Juno and I have talked about Ceres and Juno within the needle chart. Um, I will link those videos down below if you're interested. So yes, Zeus freed his siblings and Vesta was the last one to be reborn. And Vesta was worshipped by many. She was placed at the public hearth as she contained the sacred flame. And it was this flame that symbolized uh, the bringing together of the family and the people. Ceremonies were created in her name and she was indeed acknowledged as the goddess of eternal flame. And she protected it as well. She also refused to marry potential suitors. Now in Rome, a temple was built which contained the eternal flame in the center and priestesses of Vesta made sure to protect it. There were six priestesses in total. However, something that doesn't sit quite well with me and probably a lot of other people is how these priestesses were chosen from a very young age. So as young as six years old, they vowed to chastity, they remained celibate, and their service lasted about 30 years. So. Yeah, many, many immoral questions just ringing in my head right now. Still, it was the priestesses who performed their many duties of devotion and purity. Though on the other hand, they were also punished if the flame ever did go out. And if they broke their celibacy, they would also be se severely punished. They would pay in cruel ways and at the same time they had special privileges across the city. Festivals were celebrated in their honour and statues were actually built in their image as well. So what does this mythology of Vesta tell us about this asteroid, so Vesta's function in our natal chart? Well, if we first consider how devoted the Vestal priestesses were to the eternal flame when looking at the birth chart, Vesta can indicate um, how focused, how determined, how dedicated, how devoted we are to obtaining our goals. 
So thinking about how focused you are. I mean, are you committed to a goal or a task? Or do you find it challenging to keep going? Can you concentrate on your desired goal or can you feel stressed? Do you get easily distracted? What are you like at working under pressure? Would you cave or can you show great discipline? Then again, perhaps your focus is narrow, it's, it's very rigid or it's unclear. Maybe you're someone who needs short breaks often, such as a coffee break, going for a light walk, or maybe it's that you listen to music as a way to really help you get in the zone. Indeed, Vesta in the natal chart points toward devotion to our work and our routines and our service. And when looking at the eternal flame and the sacred hearth, the asteroid uh, Vesta symbolizes the hearth and home. Vesta's divine flame was the home and family and people's spiritual focus, suggesting that Vesta can point toward the flame within ourselves. So this flame that keeps burning as well as how we protect it. Now, on the other side of this, there is a sacrificial element to the mythology of Vesta as well. I mean, agreeing to remain celibate for 30 years so you can protect a fire is a pretty big sacrifice to make. We might um, make sacrifices in order to fulfill our life's purpose or our life's work, our life's mission. For instance, consider people who decide not to have children so they can focus solely on their careers, something that women didn't have the option to do decades ago. But then even consider those who choose to have children and raise a family and so they sacrifice their careers. Still, uh, we can also go to extremes um, such as choosing not to have any meaningful relationships so we can focus solely on work or becoming absorbed in our goals and our personal quest or becoming these uh, workaholics or these perfectionists. Maybe you focus on the relationship you have with your partner whilst turning away from friends and family, for example. And with this comes the alienation of the self. This alienation can of course include um, sexual alienation, which can lead to another key function of Festa, which is sexual expression. And it's Festa that can indicate how sexually free or repressed we are. For instance, after engaging in sexual activity, as a single person, I mean, do you feel shame? Do you feel guilt? Perhaps you're someone who fears intimacy or you actively practice celibacy, or maybe uh, you possess fears regarding not being able to conceive. Then again, it could be that you openly and freely express your sexuality. There's a desire to explore what you enjoy. Though on the other side, perhaps you feel shame about such things. Perhaps there are blockages. So let's consider how the priestesses were punished terribly for breaking their vows to be celibate. And then think about how we can make these decisions in life to, for example, not have SEX until marriage, for instance. What happens when or if we go against this decision? Shame and guilt may start to set in. And well, we may punish ourselves. We become the people who punished the virgins. Then again, it could be that you go through periods where you abstain from SEX, but you're very intentional about whom you sleep with. You're self-reliant, you're self-contained, and if in a relationship, can there be moments when things seem barren? Or is it that you're working through sexual projections and psychological complexes? Do you work as a way to avoid intimacy even? You might be working through a few things before you share yourself with another. Essentially, there are many ways that things can play out, but when looking at Vesta in your chart, consider sexual expression and repression, devotion, focus, and dedication, your inner eternal flame and how you protect it, and then self-containment and potential alienation. Now, before we do get into your Vesta sign, remember the ruling planet or planets of the sign your Vesta is in. So for example, if your Vesta is in Cancer, look for the moon in your chart. And so the placement of your ruling planet slash planets, they will give you more information. And also make sure to consider any aspects being made to Vesta. 
and do keep in mind things like transits, secondary progressions and so on because these things will show you how things can change and progress or progress over time. And if you do want to learn more about your partner, make sure to look at the synastry between you. Look at your composite chart as well. Basically, find Vesta in your partner's chart. Oh, and by the way, you are looking for this glyph, this symbol in your needle chart. You do need to select Vesta from the additional objects section on astro.com. All right, so let's get into these signs. Vesta in Aries. Your internal flame represents your desire to move freely and independently. You'll protect your personal accomplishments and be your own source of inspiration. You can actively focus on your goals and you're very driven and self-assertive. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you're so hell-bent on your own goals without considering other people. It can be challenging to maintain relationships if or when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your personal goals and activities. Um, still, you're self-reliant and you're not afraid of stepping up to any uh, challenge. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you know what you like and you're willing to go out and get it, so to speak. Retaining your identity in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Taurus. Your eternal flame represents your desire to feel anchored, stable and secure. You'll protect your belongings and your comforts and anybody taking your stuff is a big no-no. You can focus steadily on your goals and you're very uh, persistent, you're quite patient. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you're inflexible, whenever you're possessive and stubborn. You can have this mine attitude. It can be difficult to make any compromises within relationships if or when this happens. You might be though um, self-contained when it comes to your personal values and your talents. Still, you're determined and you have an incredible staying power. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you can be earthy, grounded and sensual. Doing what comes natural to you in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Gemini. Your eternal flame represents your desire to be curious and convey information. You'll protect your ideas and your intellectual activities and you can become skilled at communicating and networking. You can be adaptable when focusing on your goals and you're typically willing to try out new methods and new styles. However, you can alienate yourself when you rationalize things too much um, or when you stray away from the main point, the main message, focus. Trying to have a conversation with you when these things happen can be challenging. And you might be self-contained when it comes to your educational interests and speech. Still, you're inventive and you're willing to learn along the way. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are communicative. Mental stimulation in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Cancer. Your eternal flame represents your desire to nurture those you love and care about. You can be sympathetic. You'll protect your home and you typically like to feel needed. You can be tenacious when focusing on your goals and you display a great deal of inner strength which keeps you going. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you feel as if others are being too harsh or um, they're being insensitive toward your needs. You might withdraw uh, or feel upset with others if or when this happens. Trying to help you feel more at ease can be challenging as well in these cases. You might be self-contained when it comes to your emotional security and your caregiving. Still, you're motherly and you can be highly protective and caring. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are sensitive and emotional. Having your needs met in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Leo. Your eternal flame represents your desire to express yourself and be seen. You'll protect your creations, including your children, 
and your individuality, so your ego. And you like being noticed for the love that you give. You'll also protect your joy. You can be dignified when focusing on your goals and you take pride in your work and your output. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you are too prideful or too childish or when you refuse any input from others. It can be challenging for others to feel seen within your relationships um, if this happens. You also might be self-contained when it comes to your vitality and your generosity. Still, you're a leader who knows how to direct your own life. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are enthusiastic and fun-loving. You like to be admired and keeping the romance alive in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Virgo. Your eternal flame represents your desire to be of service and to improve your performance and life. You'll protect the things that you're working on, so your craft and your services, and you won't rest until you live up to the expectations that you set for yourself. You're dedicated to your mission. You can be dutiful when focusing on your goals. And there's also a need to create order and to serve others. However, you can alienate yourself when you are too consumed by work or when you're too critical of yourself and others. Relationships can be challenging this, when this happens and you might be self-contained when it comes to your efficiency and your planning. Still, you're a natural healer who pays attention to details and when it comes to your sexual expression, you are um, hygienic and you're particular, very particular. <laughs> Serving your partner or lover in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Libra. Your eternal flame represents your desire to cooperate and work with others. You'll protect the give and take dynamic within your relationships and partnerships and you want to create bonds that are based on mutuality, okay? You can be tactful when focusing on your goals, you'll weigh out your options and you'll consider your options and you prefer to work with others rather than working alone. However, you can still alienate yourself whenever you compare yourself too much to others or whenever you sit on the fence for far too long. Having a harmonious relationship with you can be challenging when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your taste and your charm. Still, you're an intelligent diplomat who can find the balance between you and others quite well. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are refined and sincere. Healthy exchange in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Scorpio. Your eternal flame represents your desire to establish deep and meaningful bonds. It signifies your desire for truth. You'll protect your sexuality and your intense emotions and you'll follow your strong hunches or so your intuition. You can be devoted and driven when focusing on your goals and you are always willing to investigate and look beneath the surface. You have great concentration. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you take things to the extreme or whenever you fear vulnerability. You can be suspicious, you can lack trust. Establishing relationships or being intimate can be challenging when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your commitments and your power. Still, uh, you're a profound healer who is incredibly resilient. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are passionate and dominant. <laughs> However, an air of mystery in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Sagittarius. Your eternal flame represents your desire to expand and seek more knowledge. You'll protect your beliefs and future aspirations and you'll want to believe in your mission. You'll also be a protector of truth and honesty. You can be open-minded when focusing on your goals and you feel uplifted whenever you can see the possibilities. However, you can alienate yourself when you are too fanatical or when you gamble with life often without thinking about the consequences. Maintaining relationships can be challenging if or when this happens. 
You might be self-contained when it comes to your faith, when it comes to your teachings. Still, you're an enthusiastic explorer and you never stop learning. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are generous and frank. Keeping a sense of adventure in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Capricorn. Your eternal flame represents your desire to achieve and discipline yourself. You'll protect your accomplishments and your status, and you'll most likely want to play by the rules. You are willing to sacrifice yourself for security reasons, for profession reasons. You can be dedicated when focusing on your goals and you feel that obtaining them is your responsibility. However, you can alienate yourself when you are overly rigid with your time or when you try too hard to control your environment. Getting you to let loose in your relationships can be difficult when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your obligations and your organ organization. Still, you show strength and integrity in whatever you do. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are practical and purposeful. Commitment in the bedroom is important. Vesta in Aquarius. Your eternal flame represents your desire to create change and to keep your personal freedom. So looking at your independence and your individuality. You'll protect your goals and hopes for the future and you'll typically work well within groups. You'll also want your uniqueness to be respected. You can be inventive when focusing on your goals and you'll experiment with new theories, new ideas, new concepts. However, you can alienate yourself whenever you are highly opinionated, when you're stubborn, or when you rebel against members of authority who want to help. Having cooperative relationships can be challenging if or when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your humanitarian efforts. Still, you're a major team player within any group you join, but you're also, you also have a mind of your own. You think for yourself. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are intriguing, you're innovative, the element of surprise, so keeping that element of surprise alive in the bedroom is important. And lastly, Vesta in Pisces. Your eternal flame represents your desire to show compassion and empathy toward others. You'll protect your artistic vision, your dreams, your spiritual values, and you'll be devoted to those who need you the most. You can be fluid when focusing on your goals and you want uh, the option to be able, you know, to switch off from time to time, to be able to really recharge your, ba your batteries. You need some alone time. However, you can alienate yourself when you are too idealistic or when you're too dreamy or whenever you try too hard to please everyone, resulting in martyrdom and suffering. Feeling serene within your relationships can be challenging if or when this happens. You might be self-contained when it comes to your psychic abilities. Still, you're a highly rhythmic person with fantastic imagination, a fantastic imagination. And when it comes to your sexual expression, you are sensitive and serving. Tapping into a little fantasy in the bedroom is important. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video talking all about Vesta in the natal chart. Please do let me know if you find this video to be helpful today. Did you learn something new? Do you relate to your Vesta sign? Yeah, let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And of course, if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then make sure that you click that subscribe button and also give this video a like if you did like it today. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye.